Welcome to the video series Rutherford Gets Its Google On. In this video, I'll be going over how to use bookmarks. The reason for that is moving from laptops to Chromebooks with students will no longer be able to use desktop icons as shortcuts, but bookmarks will replace that. I'm using a laptop with Chrome as a browser right now, so it'll look a little bit different than if you're on a Chromebook, but fairly similar steps. I'm currently signed in to my Edmonton Public Schools account and as such I have access to the bookmarks that I've saved under that profile. So you will want to sign in to Chrome if you want to be able to use your bookmarks, on the same bookmarks on a Chromebook or on your teacher desktop and at home. So I want to bookmark this site. How do I do it? Well, first I'm going to go to my Omnibar links, and I'm going to go across to the right-hand side, and I'll see a gray or white star. And simply to bookmark a page, you click on it. It'll pop up with a default title, and it'll ask you where you want to file it. I have some pre-made folders already, and I'm just going to put this into my things to file, because I'm not sure where I want to put it at the moment. Done. So bookmarking is pretty easy. Click on the star. But how do you find the bookmarks that you've used? Well, there are a few different ways. One way is you can go over to your three lines on the right-hand side and click and go to bookmarks. Here you have access to a lot of different things regarding bookmarks. One is all of your bookmarks. Here you also can bookmark a page. You can also turn on or off your bookmarks bar. And this is what you're going to want to have students turn on. So to turn it off, I click on it, go back to those three lines, bookmarks, show bookmarks bar to turn on. I'm going to go back to my three lines and you will notice that I have a bookmarks manager. And this is how I can organize my bookmarks. I can import bookmarks and I can access all the bookmarks that I've created. And I have a file here, Things to File. My most recent one will be at the bottom, so it goes in order of how you add them. So here's what I recently bookmarked. I'm going to focus for the next little while on the bookmarks bar. And that is what I have open at the top here. Now, when you bookmark something and you have it show up on your bookmarks bar, it will show up with the title that you choose and an icon that relates to the site. I like to have a number of bookmarks at the top for things that I use daily. And because I have on a Chromebook a smaller screen, I have a lot of real estate that can be taken up by long words. So I'm going to show you how to shorten or, if you want, delete all the words for your bookmarks. So, for example, if it has a really unique icon, like Go Noodle, I don't need to know that's Go Noodle. I don't need the words beside it. If it has an icon that's the same, so for Google Site, I have two icons that are the same. I want to name them so I know which one's which. So, I'm going to show you how to add a bookmark to your bookmarks bar. So, I've just recently bookmarked the Rutherford Resources page. I want it to be on my bookmarks bar. So to do that, I go back up here to my three lines, go to my bookmarks. I need to have my bookmarks bar open. And now I'm going to go to Bookmarks Manager. And here you'll see a folder called Bookmarks Bar. So I can now organize and rearrange things here. So for instance, I'm going to go to my Things to File and I'm going to find what I just added and I'm going to click and drag it to my bookmarks bar. I can also click and drag it right onto the bar itself, not just the folder. And you will notice that because the name is quite long, it has pushed off a number of the items that I have up here. I can still access them by the double arrow on the right hand side over here. So I can still get at what has been bumped off and if I was using a long larger screen those would show up so at school when I'm working on my big screen I can see all of these icons. 
but I can actually shorten this. I know that um, the Rutherford Resources page is called that. It's going to be my only Rutherford page name that. So I'm going to go to my bookmarks bar. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click and go edit. And now I can change the title. I'm going to just call it Rutherford. And now I've shortened it. It's given me more real estate that I can access. Miss Mondor, my class website, I can edit. I'm, it's going to be the only Miss M website up there, so I'm going to change that to Miss M. And I can delete this. I know that this is my kid blog icon. I actually don't need to have any typing all beside it, so I'm going to delete it completely, and it's just going to be the icon. So here I have all my bookmark bar resources. If I want to move them around, maybe I want to have my power teacher first to remind me to do my attendance first thing in the morning. I'm going to click and drag and move it up here. So you can move them around. I can also move them around on my bookmarks bar as well. Up here on the left is the quick way to get to that, my bookmarks bar is um, linked as well and I just have star have it with the star and the BM for bookmarks. So you could um, delete that and just have the star. Okay. So to review, if you want to bookmark something, you go to the Omni bar and you click on it. If you want to remove it from the Omni bar, you can click on it and click remove and it's now no longer a bookmark. To find the bookmarks you've used, you can go to the three lines or you can also follow your arrow across to the different folders that you have. To organize and rename, the easiest way is to go into your bookmarks manager. So go to bookmarks, bookmarks manager. But you can also do a lot of renaming and reorganizing right on your bookmarks bar. I would recommend when working with students at the beginning of the year that students have on their bookmarks bar two or three things that they're going to access regularly. So a link to school zone so they can log in to their Google Drive. A link to, for my class, would be my class website. And you may want to link to Google Classroom or different icons of things that you use regularly. Don't forget that you'll need to have the bookmark bar turned on. So you go to bookmarks and show bookmarks bar. I hope that helps.